What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Crossroads Rebuild. Today is frame day, or at least it's close. Today is move the interceptor to the frame machine day. So I'm here at the shop. The engine is out. And I am ready to go ahead and start getting everything ready. Uh, my buddy's going to be here with the trailer soon. And we're going to get this interceptor moved on over to the frame shop. So I'm going to do my best to record some of this for you because all I have is my phone to record with today. But let's go ahead and get started on that and follow along as we take the interceptor to the frame machine. All right, guys, it is the next day, and I am actually back over at my buddy's frame shop, and he's gonna let me do a little bit of working with him on the interceptor frame repair. We're getting started this morning. Apologize if I'm squinting, I got the sun right there in front of my face. Just before we get started, check out this vehicle behind me here. This is actually what we were waiting on to get the interceptor in there, because my buddy was working on this. This is a 2018 Alfa Romeo Stelvio. Pretty cool vehicle. Let me show it to you real quick. Check this thing out. It took a pretty gnarly hit to the front. This is uh, twice sold in Texas, I believe, Copart. Uh, but he's got the front mostly done, waiting on a few parts. It's not 100%. Only 9,200 miles on this thing. Practically brand new. A little bit dirty, but it still smells new inside. like somebody stole the badge off the back of it that's nice anyway very cool I think don't get to see these too often at least around my neck of the woods been told that that windshield's about a thousand dollars anyway guys we're gonna go ahead and get started and I'm gonna start learning a little bit about framework and actually we're not gonna get started on the framework just yet because we're gonna go ahead and take delivery of another vehicle this project is actually not one that I'm gonna be working on for the most part might help out a little bit this Subaru Forester here was purchased for Doug's daughter. You've seen Doug, he's helped me with a number of projects, a lot of uh, engine work on the Camry. But uh, anyway, this Forester is a 2015 and purchased it out of Louisville, Kentucky. Had it driven up here, taken delivery this morning. And this will be a project for Doug for his daughter. She runs like a champ. And I really cannot tell why this car was totaled. It got tweaked a little bit right here. But not bad at all. The fender, grill, bumper, fog light, one headlight. Door glass is in the back. Needs a lot of airbags on the inside. That door might be fixable. I don't know. Good looking vehicle though. update on the framework progress well so far we've gotten the plastic rocker covers off um, just a little mystery to figure out how they were attached but we got those off and now we have begun to attach the interceptor to the frame machine it's all locked down on this side I don't think we've done the other side yet um, but just about ready to start on that meanwhile while he was getting that uh, locked down I've been over here scuffing uh, and prepping the replacement door and fender for jamming in with paint. Uh, he's actually gone to get some paint right now, so we'll get these jammed in, and uh, then it's almost lunchtime. 
So, good progress so far. The paint prep is uh, well on its way, and uh, the interceptor is just about done being set up on the frame machine, uh, so we can actually start getting to work on that. So, uh, right after we get these doors uh, jammed, the door and fender jammed in, I'm gonna go to lunch, and then we'll get right back to work on the interceptor. All right, guys, it is another day, day two of framework. I'm actually just getting ready to leave the Ford dealership here. Came over to pick up a part. Turns out uh, they ordered the wrong part. Got a young kid back there, doesn't seem to know what he's doing yet. Uh, but got the right part ordered, found someone who does know what they're doing, and they're gonna try to get it delivered for us today. Uh, so hopefully that doesn't slow us down too much. But I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the shop, and then we're gonna go ahead and get right back into more framework. Let's go.
what's going on everybody it is another day and i hope you're getting the idea now that this is just something that's going to take us a few days to do uh now yesterday i only had a couple of hours to work and uh, we did get some stuff done but i forgot to actually record a, a little clip showing you what we got done yesterday um, so you saw us doing the work but we actually got the whole subframe replaced got the steering rack and the sway bar and uh, the lower control arms all reinstalled so we're good to go there and um nope oh, truck just pulled right out in front of me that's really nice all right sorry about that interruption someone pulled out in front of me Anyway, uh, so yesterday we got the uh, subframe totally replaced, and uh, so we're good to go there. Now, obviously it's not fully installed because there's still a little bit of pulling to do. And uh, my friend who owns this frame shop, Jack, you've seen him in uh, quite a bit of these video clips now at this point, uh, but he's continued to do some of the work while I'm not there. He's not entirely waiting on me for every aspect of it. So today I ran out to the shop before going over to do some work uh, to grab the new hood hinges as well as the front uh, crash bar, uh, bumper reinforcement bar, whatever you want to call that. And um, now I'm headed back and we're going to get into work. So uh, I'm thinking today we're going to be replacing the front right uh, upper apron over there. They got pretty wrinkled up. And uh, so I'm going to do some drilling out and then we'll be welding in a new one. I think that'll be today. We'll see in a minute. And then of course getting that frame rail repaired and starting to tie everything back together with the bumper reinforcement bar. So I'll be over to the shop in a few minutes and we'll get back to work on it. Right, guys a little lull in the action over here so let me show you what we got going on Jack's been working while I was away and then uh, he was already welding when I got here today so you can see we're actually looking like we're gonna be able to save uh, the entirety of our frame uh, frame rail here now, I still got some cleaning up to do and uh, finish welding and all that uh, but he's got everything straightened up you can see the uh, subframe actually connects with all four bolts now everything lines up uh, everything's level right now the levels actually sitting on something but I promise you everything is level and then uh, Getting all the bracketry kind of bent back in shape uh, so it can be welded back on as well uh, we've got the uh, Apron rail pulled up here uh, that is still being replaced here in just a little while And then he's gone ahead and pulled on the door just a little bit just to straighten it out a bit But we're not going to be saving this door, uh, but it is straighter than it was but check this out now with everything all straightened out, this door now shuts properly and has uh, a correct and beautiful gap. It looks awesome. In here, I've just stripped the panel off of it and got the door prepped to pull off of the interceptor here shortly. And so uh, that's what we'll be working on next. Go ahead and replace this door. Keep welding up here on the frame rail. And then of course, drill out uh, this apron and replace it as well. So let's go ahead and get started.
Alrighty guys, we're gonna stop for today, but we think we need just one more day to finish up what's left on this thing. Uh, we have basically rebuilt that frame rail. It's just about done, needs a little tweaking. Of course, it'll need to be painted up and all that. And then uh, we've started working on that apron there. Got the old one, uh, the old spot welds drilled out and just have uh, the new apron just kind of set up there. Um, and we'll need to make a few little adjustments on that. But um, we're coming right along. So hopefully one more day, to get that door taken care of, the apron, uh, a little more tweaking possibly, and get this whole front end put back together. So we'll catch you in the morning. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it for this episode. The framework on the Interceptor is done. As you can see behind me, I have the Interceptor back here at the shop, and now I am really ready to start getting into putting this thing back together. Before we end the episode, let me show you real quick what things are looking like, and then uh, we'll wrap it up, and I'll tell you what's coming next. All right, let's start over here on the passenger side. Of course, this is the side that took the brunt of the accident, and you can see I've got my donor door on. Uh, it has been jammed in. I'm not going to open it right now because it's a little bit uh, of a challenge to do so with one handed, but the door has been jammed in. So the inside of it has been painted and it's now hung and uh, looking good here on the interceptor. Everything lines up nicely. We've got our brand new fender from Ford here. It has also been jammed in and is now lined up with our hood. Now this is the hood that came with it. Uh, I still don't know why, but they did start to repair this hood before uh, it was salvaged out. Uh, but as you can see, the body lines and the panel gaps are awesome. 
uh, really looking good. Um, got the front end assembled with our crash bar and our core support. Uh, over here on the uh, driver's side, this is the one headlight that kind of sort of made it. It's broken, it can't be reused, but it has one tab, so I kind of threw it in there just because I wanted to see what the thing looked like. But uh, as you can see, it's starting to look like a vehicle again, and that really makes me excited. So let me go ahead and open the hood, and I'll show you what we got going on inside the engine bay. All right, so in here, as you can see, well, it's more or less what it looked like before. Before we get the engine in here, I do need to get that uh, air conditioning line replaced. I do have a brand new one of those to put in there, uh, but that would be a real challenge to put in once the engine's in, so I'll get that replaced. Um, a few other little odds and ends to tidy up and get out of the way, get the wiring back out of the way. And i um, still trying to decide what I want to do here. But I might go ahead and actually drop the subframe. I'm going to be setting up my new quick jacks here in a little while. So I'll be able to lift the interceptor up and possibly drop the subframe and try installing the engine from below, which is, of course, the way Ford would have put it in from the factory. Uh, the other option, and uh, still a viable option, is to go ahead and just remove the core support, the crash bar, and all that. Of course, the junk headlight. Get all that out of the way and then put it in the same way we did before or the same way we took it out rather, or to maybe do some sort of a hybrid of the two, raise it up, lower the subframe a little bit, take this stuff off and kind of go in and then bring everything up together. Not 100% sure yet how I'm gonna do that. Might take a little experimentation, but uh, I am so excited to go ahead and get into that. Now, of course, you can see my engine sitting over there. Uh, that's the old one still. The new one is still on the pallet. So before we can even think about putting that engine in, I'm going to have to take some of the accessories off of that engine, including the big accessory there on the end. Got to take the transmission off of it and get the new engine all put together and ready to go. Then we'll be ready to go ahead and drop it in. And that is what we'll be working on next time. And that is going to be a wrap for this episode. Let me know in the comments below what you think of our framework and this video trying to show you a little bit of it. Um, I've never been involved with framework before, and obviously uh, a lot of the framework had to be done at times when I had to be at work, so I wasn't involved in every minute of it. But hopefully I got enough video so you can see what we did and it is interesting to watch uh, as we watch the journey of progress on the Interceptor as it's rebuilt. So in the next video, I plan to start getting the engine prep to go in. Uh, we'll see what kind of progress we make. Might even get an opportunity to start putting it in, we'll see. And then uh, after that engine's in there, my next goal is to get everything hooked back up, get all the wiring harnesses in uh, and uh, hooked to where they belong and all that so we can test start it um, and make sure this thing's running. Once it's running, then we move on to the rest of stuff, uh, putting the rest of our body panels like the bumper and all that on, the headlights, uh, replacing that dash on the inside, our seatbelts, airbags, so on and so forth. There's a lot left to do. But thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you following along on my journey. If you're not already doing so, why don't you go ahead and follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram, uh, Twitter, and Facebook where I post photos uh, and updates periodically while I'm working on my projects. I'll have links down in the description below. And then also why don't you go ahead and like this video, comment, and if you haven't done so, subscribe and then click the bell so you can be notified each time I upload a new, new video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.